Think of the age of Akhenaten in Egypt, the reign of Zoroaster in Persia, the golden ages of Greece and Islam, the several great periods of Chinese culture, and the European Renaissance. Something similar was brewing in America in the years 1964 to 1972. Maybe it's sentimental, if not actually stupid, to romanticize the 60s as an embryonic golden age. Obviously, this fetal age of enlightenment aborted. Nevertheless, while they lasted, the 60s were extraordinary. Like the Arthurian years at Camelot, they constituted a breakthrough, a fleeting moment of glory, a time when a significant little chunk of earthlings briefly realized their moral potential and flirted with their neurological destiny. A collective spiritual awakening that flared brilliantly into the brutal and mediocre impulses of the species drew tight once again the thick curtains of meathead sonambulism. There's something else. I think it need be established firmly, flatly, and finally that what we call the 60s would never have happened had it not been for the introduction of psychedelic drugs into the prevailing American paradigm. Certainly there would have been protests, boycotts, and demonstrations, but they would have been only a fraction of the magnitude of those that actually occurred. They would have been far less frequent, widespread, intense, colorful, or effective. The political and societal juggernaut of the 60s rolled on wheels of music, and that music owed both its aesthetic and ethical impetus to psychedelics. Eyes and hearts were opened, frequently by way of the ears, to fresh perceptions and utopian possibilities. It was a dizzy period of transcendence and awareness, transcendence of compromised and obsolete value systems, awareness of the enormity and richness of a previously unsuspected inner reality. Its zeitgeist, despite what you may have heard, was only secondarily political. As much as it's been emphasized by uncomprehending journalists, the political movements of the time, be they pacifist, feminist, environmental, or racial, were largely the result of fallout from a spiritual explosion.